Okay, a few people have uh, messaged and asked me what is the best thing to clean the vat on your resin printer with. And I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Previously, in the past, I bought uh, these these uh, microfiber chamois off of Amazon. You know, they come in you know, like 16 by whatever. And I'll cut them up into strips, but then they'll be very fluffy and they'll like little, little fluffy um, edges that'll get like in the vat as I'm cleaning it and stuff. So I would put them in the washer um, after I cut after I cut them or before I cut them sometimes usually after I cut them up I wash them and dry them and I use that these are pretty cheap you get a bag of them for like 10 bucks but even if you wash them the pieces still fall apart so they're not perfect all they are very absorbent the other thing I used um, but Amazon had been out of them for like a month and I couldn't find them anywhere online until this past week um, these these microfiber cloths I got these from microfiber wholesale I believe I'll put the Amazon link or the whatever link my dog's going crazy um, or whatever the store link was I found these on plus the Amazon link if, it, if it's in the store yet uh, but these guys shipped out of Riverside California and these are the most economical and best things that I've used so far um, for cleaning the vet they're just these they're non-woven disposable microfiber wipes and they're they're um, 12 by 12 and they're lint free absorbent multi-purpose they come in a 50 pack and all I do is I get them just like these I get them I cut them into like you know two inch wide strips like so you get six of them here and then six of them here. So um, is that 36 per per um, 36 per square times 50 squares. And then I just take those squares and I move these out of the way and I put them in here and then I use them to wipe down my vat. Uh, when I'm cleaning out my vat, sometimes I'll, if I have some of these on hand, but see fuzz is coming off them. For the sloppy, dirty one, they're still when they've been when the vat's been drained, but there's still some stuff. Um, you know, still some a lot a decent amount of resin. I'll spray some IPA in a spray bottle. I'll wipe it up for the first pass. I'll put this to the side to cure it and throw it away later. And then I'll start using these and the same thing. I'll 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 do I'll do IPA, clean it out, IPA, clean it out, IPA, clean it out till it's pretty clean. And then at the end I'll use some uh, PTFE, like three in one oil, like a couple drops of that, and get a clean one of these and wipe the wipe the vat down so that the stuff comes off cleanly. I know some people say those don't work. Uh, I think they work. I think it's like I've never had a, I've never had a print fail after I use that, and I feel like that little bit of lubricant um, makes the FEP last a little longer. And if it doesn't, that stuff's cheap. I mean, I bought a bottle of it for like four or five bucks, and I'll probably use it for the next ten years if I use it. Uh, but yeah, these these things are the best um, that I've come across because a lot comes packed. Like I said, you just sit down with a pair of your manly pink scissors, like I have, chop them up, you know, in, in strips of six by six put them in here and just have a little thing um and just use them and that way and then i usually have a tupperware thing that i use um some for my supports but also have a tupperware thing for my like like this kind of stuff that i'll throw used towels and stuff in that are small for cl the cleaning squares and then at the end i'll just cure them outside before i throw them away and make them not cure them for like five minutes on one side five minutes on the other so the whole thing is cured all the way through and then i'll pitch them so i'm not throwing uh raw resin out into the universe and being an awful person but yeah that's it uh link will be in the description